everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. Listen, I'm so excited right now because Wodemeyer has actually, uh, you know, released a new video from Namibia, you know, about what is so unique about Namibian women. And, you know, the women are the backbone of the society. So I feel this is very interesting because up until now, I didn't know anything much about Namibia and I'm getting to learn more about Namibia and I'm so excited for this one because I feel we're still going to learn more this time round about Namibian women. So let's go. Um, with so many different cultures. Diff Look at that beauty. Yeah, I think this is uh, Sizzle's Diaries, I guess. If I'm not wrong, but look at how these women are beautiful. Look the way the melanin is popping. Oh my goodness. Fantastic. Um, with so many different cultures, different you get bamboos, tamaras, hereros, but like we don't now place ourselves and like, no, you are tamara, go hang with your friends or whatever. We just mm. work together and yeah, we are beautiful, powerful, mm. smart, confident. We're everything that any guy would need and any guy would want. I'm not even talking about guys. A woman is everything that she needs for herself because when you're a strong independent woman self awoke that's everything that you need um as a woman to build society and i feel that's the reason why we always say uh you know when you give a woman the woman will give back to the society you know so absolutely a woman is powerful and is the backbone of the society it's that special time again for me to shoot my all-time favorite episode. I mean, what is so special about African women? I know most... She's beautiful. Oh, she's all my favorite hairy. episode. I mean, what is so special? Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I'm actually working on reacting to her videos as well. About African women. I know most of you normally say you hug too much. Why are you hugging every woman? Come on. Mm. Hug makes people comfortable right. around me. I always have ways to make people comfortable right. whenever I'm talking to them. So yes, and don't stop doing it because I feel it's just a way uh, it's just a way of uh, showing affection and, and you know women love hugs and it's okay uh, to hug people that you want to that who are nice to you, you know, in the sense that when you go to a country and you don't know anybody and you find all these women taking YouTubers around, and especially you, Wodemaya, and other YouTubers, actually, then why not hug them? Because that's the beauty of a genuine person without anything behind uh, just the hugging, you know? So, but I believe because he's dating, that's, people, that's probably the reason why people react like that. But, I mean, it's okay. So, I don't know why you always have to go against... Because you're dating, but I feel people should be more open-minded and... And just, you know, and just accept the fact that you you travel a lot and you get to meet people from everywhere in the world. And it's OK as long as, you know, um, as long as it doesn't it doesn't really bother your girlfriend. But I feel we've talked about it. And yeah, it's mm. my hugs. But hey, in this video, I'm going to try as much as possible not to hug any single woman. I mean, it's going to be a hard task, but I'm going to try. <laughs> what is so unique about Namibian women? So during the Africa to the world was what is so unique about Ethiopian women and the video has over a million views right now. Maybe I should go watch that one as well. I haven't yet. Okay, okay. So uh, okay. Yeah, salam. Salam. So which means people really love this. And some of you are saying, why don't I ask guys about what is so unique about their men? I don't think if you ask a guy what is so unique about their men, they're going to tell you the truth. So you need to go meet the women and ask them yourself. So, hey, I'm just going to do that special episode today. And I'm here in Namibia University of Science and Technology to ask what is so unique about Namibia women. Stay tuned, like the video, subscribe, and be part of this awesome family. Right. Make sure you subscribe as well. Subscribe, subscribe. On the road to 1,000 subscribers. Let's go. Hi, my name is Maya from Ghana. Tell me your name and where are you from? Hi, my name is Maria Shkolele and I am from Namibia. My name is Martha. Martha? <laughs> yeah, I'm from Namibia. Yeah, guys, I said in my other videos, I feel like they don't say like the way we pronounce Namibia. We, we just actually say every simple sy syllable. 
but they don't. They just say they say Namibia as long as, as I would say as if as the I doesn't exist. So listen to that again. They say Namibia or something. And I am from Namibia. My yeah, Namibia. My name is Martha. <laughs> Martha. Yeah, I'm from Namibia. Uh, my name is Kareo Koroa. I'm from Namibia. Uh, Betty Namnea from Namibia. <laughs> Uh, Cecilia from Namibia. Cecilia from Namibia. You're the yeah. first person that I got to know that her name is Cecilia. Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. I know from that song. Cecilia from Namibia. I thought Cecilia has always come from Ghana. No. You're not from Ghana? No. Your height is just like a Ghanaian woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We want to know what makes Namibian women so unique. Um, I feel like the way that we embrace our culture mm -hmm. makes us extremely unique. Like. On everyday life, you can see Namibian women wearing their cultural attire. Like, it's just an everyday thing for us. We're proud to be who we are, basically, because there are a lot of diverse cultures in Namibia, and we all embrace each of them. Are you Himba? No, I'm not. I would love you to be Himba, you know. <laughs> Maybe. You're not Himba, eh? <laughs> Okay, so first, first of all, I think the point to get from Cecilia is that... Um, that, I mean, the Namibian women just embrace the Namibian culture. And yeah, they, they, they're they really proud of their culture and who they are as a people with the different, 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 uh, you know, tribes. And it's quite diverse in Namibia. So that's fantastic. And if you don't know what what, what am I is talking about, he's actually talking about the way the Himbas just have to give three cows and... Uh, Three cows and two goats, uh, you know, for dowry. So that's not expensive at all. So that's what he's talking about. If you haven't, go back and watch my video about Namibia being, uh, you know, um, the most underrated country in Africa. And also when he went to uh, to the Himba village. So that, that's, that was a fantastic video as well. So point number one, I hope you're taking notes than just embracing your culture. Eh? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh my God, which tribe are you? I am Oshuambo. Oshuambo. Yes. Ngapi? Mm. Nga is it Ngapi or Nawa? That's Kavango. So, how many how many tribes are there in Namibia? Kindly let me know in the comment section below and let me know about the tribes in Namibia. Okay, I feel like most of all our you know differentiated cultures just make um uh, make us. I know uh, a better part of us that makes us, you know, beautiful, unique, different from, you know, the whole world or from uh, any other African woman. Um, and the fact that we are maybe self-driven and that we want to be successful, you know, the fact that we just want each and every Namibian woman or, yeah, Namibian person wants to be successful and mostly the woman and we are not criticized by the, yeah. One of the oh, that's fantastic. And she's so young. She's so young and she's outspoken. So point number two from what I get is they are self-driven and they are ambitious. So the Namibian women are very ambitious and which, uh, you know, which is a very beautiful characteristic because it means that they hold, um, you know, if they have a job, they, they're business women, they hold a position, high positions, why not? And yeah, and so, so they're self-driven and I would say, and more to what she said, you know, um, yeah, ambitious uh, women. Okay, great. And mostly the women, and we're not criticized by them. Yeah. One of the things that make Namibian women unique is the empowerment. Namibian women empower one another. They're emancipated. Mm -hmm. They believe in working together, working with each other, building each other up and growing each other. They believe in letting the past go mm -hmm. and try to move in the like future you know, in the future. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Oh my goodness. I love that. I love that. And the reason being, because women, we are often criticized that we don't really build each other. And to hear that a whole nation of women from the media actually build each other up to become better versions of themselves, supporting each other in different ways. That's very fantastic. And I, I, Connie, I love that because that's how we build a nation, a society, because the woman, again, once again, is the backbone of the society. So beautiful. Yeah. Wow. I, I can't wait to get myself a Namibian woman. <laughs> Just want to know what makes Namibia so unique. Namibia is unique because... No, sorry. 
I even forgot my question. You know what? Her beauty just confused me. I'm so sorry about that. What makes Namibian women so unique? Um, as like my friend said before, we're diverse, we're smart, we're beautiful, we're strong, we're powerful. We are everything that anyone would want and anyone would need. So I would definitely recommend a Namibian girl. Oh, well, there's diversity. Um, with so many different cultures and the thing is, you can see with me and my friends, we get along so well. We are different. You get bamboos, tamaras, heroes, but like we don't now place ourselves and like no, you are. Because that's what I would like to know. Please, please, one of you ladies, if you get to watch this reaction video, please make sure you tell me all the different tribes that you can find. Um, you know, in Namibia, uh, because there there are quite a few, and I would love to know each and every one of these tribes. Um, and that's very important. And I feel like South Africans when I hear them. Uh, speaking, they have a very strong South African accent, I would say, but it explains, I mean, it's, it's it makes sense because, you know, Namibia and South Africa have a very long history together, and yeah, so I would like to know, I've heard the, the Hereros, right, the Namib, the, what do you say, the Himbas, the what, there are a few others, so please let me know, let me, let me just rewind a little bit and just listen to some. Humbles, the maras, heroes, but like we don't. Okay, the humbles, maras, her, her. Okay, please just write them down in the comment section below. Thank you. Now place ourselves and like no, you are the mara. Go hang with your friends or whatever. Mm -hmm. We just work together and yeah, that's the one thing that I really appreciate and love about this one country. Right. Actually, beautiful. Oh, you see, so beautiful Namibian <laughs> women. Yeah. But do beautiful Namibian women date outside Namibia? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, we are, do. Are you dating outside of Namibia right now? Um, <laughs> I have. You ha I mean, are you dating outside Namibia right no, now? No, no, no. But have you ever dated outside Namibia yes, before? Yes, I have. Which country was that? Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> I think it's, I, I don't think. No, 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 I mean, like, which country was that? Uh, it was, it was, <laughs> no, no. No, I don't which want country to... was that? I don't want to answer the question. No, 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 because we need to give them a shout out. Which country was that? Um, yeah. Oh, calm down. Wait, wait, okay, wait. No. I'm from Angola. From okay. Angola, yeah. How was it? It was, it was okay. I guess. Yeah, Angola. Yeah, your neighbor. So yeah, it's uh, it makes sense, you know. It was a beautiful experience. Mm -hmm. Would you ever try it again? Um, sure. Yeah, but why not, not. Yeah. Which other African country that you would love to date from? Oh, like from South Africa. Like, they're really attractive people there. Mm. My brother's from South Africa. Are you watching this video right now? I'm just going to put it on Instagram. But hey, please, chill. Take a chill pill, man. Take it slow. Yeah, they do. I feel like just um, the country where you're from or the place where you're from does not determine the people you should date. If, if you like someone from abroad or from another country, you, you surely can. Oh, she's so sweet. My goodness, how old is she? She gives me like the Sarafina vibe. You know what I mean? If you watch Sarafina, that's that's my child, but she's so sweet. Yeah, but I agree. Love has no boundaries. Love is love. By the end of the day, love is love. No boundaries, no race, no all that. That is just stupid, I, I, I believe, because when love hits you, it doesn't matter where they're from, what color, what they do love is love so but yeah so i agree with you my next question is are you single no i'm not are you dating someone from namibia or outside namibia from namibia how, how, how does it taste like how does it taste like um i feel like i don't know the same as i would be dating someone from elsewhere it's just the same it's you know uh a person is most unique on this uh uh what in what uh does not does not uh, matter if it's you know if whatever culture you are or bamboo or Namibian uh, American it's just people are unique in their own ways. So tell us something about Namibian men um, that you love so much. Hmm. Really can't say. I don't really know much about the men. <laughs> you don't know what makes a man unique. Um. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Now you know why I don't ask men. <laughs> how unique their women are <laughs> okay it makes sense i think it's difficult probably hard working i would say hard working um uh, uh, i know nigerian men apparently are the most romantic men in the world or 
let's just say in Africa. Um, yeah, so about Namibia, and I hope somebody else can answer this question. So let me know if you're a night, um, Namibian man, let me in the comment section below uh, what makes Namibian men unique, okay? You know, because she doesn't know. Only <laughs> them will know. You yeah. date out of Namibia. Yes. Are you dating out of Namibia right now? No, unfortunately not. Are you dating inside Namibia right now? No. Why? Have you ever dated before? No, I haven't dated before. No, that is so hard to, I mean, <laughs> do you guys believe it? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, something is wrong. I don't know, maybe. But, um, yeah, I don't believe it myself. Why? Um, because, my, firstly, when I was younger, my parents didn't allow it. It was uh -huh. a strict rule. And then secondly, um, I feel like relationships have, the meaning of relationships have changed so much mm -hmm. and people just get into relationships just to be in a relationship. Okay. I feel like a relationship needs commitment and I'm not ready to fully commit to someone yet. When will you be ready? I don't know. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, it makes sense. All right, and that is a very good answer because you're right. I think we should not get in a relationship just, just to get into a relationship uh, but on the other hand, it's nice to have your heart broken a little bit so you can really know your boundaries and uh, your, uh, how do you say, uh, your what you accept and, you know, your non-negotiables. So, um, yeah, but it's all in your honor and I believe you know exactly what you're looking for and when the time is right, then you will do it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah, we do date out of Namibia. <laughs> Are you dating out of Namibia right now? I that is confidential information. <laughs> no, they just want to know. Are you dating? So that means yes, you're dating, but outside Namibia, we don't know. Out of Namibia right now. I am open to dating out of Namibia. Uh, what about now? Is I it in Namibia? Or? I am not. So are you single Namibia. right now? Yes, I am. <laughs> so you think I should put your Instagram for someone to reach out to you? You can go ahead. You can go ahead. <laughs> Why should somebody out there marry a lady from Namibia? <laughs> no, then they can go ahead and hit me up on Instagram at um, e dot t u h o l e. My brother, feel free and shoot your shot. They do actually. You find a lot of Namibian women having men from another country than from Namibia. Are you dating out of Namibia? No, I'm actually single. Why are so many Namibian women single? Because the Namibian men are not the ones you're looking for. We are waiting for you guys from abroad really? to come show us what you got. <laughs> My brother, the, the, the door is open. The door yeah. is open. I, 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 see, I, I'm not single though. <laughs> <laughs> but the door is open, yeah? yeah? Book that flight ticket and my friend, visit Namibia. Come Maybe Namibia. you might find your future wife in here. Yeah. So, I mean, why should somebody out there marry a Namibian woman? The reason why a foreigner should marry a Namibian is number one is the beauty, the confidence, right. the self love. You wow. understand? Wow. Yeah, that is why they should marry. Um, the Work material, everything, the cooking is on point. Okay, okay. We're beautiful, we're intelligent, we're powerful, we know what we stand for, we know our rights, mm. and yeah, man, we're great. Because we are, we are versed in what a woman should be. Um, which is a mother, which is a caretaker, which is a provider. And then we're also very versed in um, being a strong, independent woman, someone that works, someone that is, um, that's chasing her dreams, that is doing everything she wants to do. But is that cultural? Because all the women have said it, independent, self-awareness, self, um, how do you say, uh, very, very, um, you know, career-minded, loving, caring, confident, all those things are they like are you brought up in that setup where as an as an as an african woman as an Namibian woman your parents teach you to be like that so or do you see your parents being strong uh strong women especially your mothers because you're talking about women have you how how is it in the country how is the woman um education uh done at home i will be interested to also drop a comment if you're given the chance to change one thing in Namibia as a woman, what will you change? Okay, I would feel like I would want to 
um, maybe increase on equality. I feel like, you know, we don't uh, really have that much equality because it's like women are supposed to do what or women can only do what or women should not do what, which I feel like is unfair because anyone can do whatever they want. So I think I would want to, you know, change the, the, what is this, the lack of equality that we have in Namibia, you know, just to increase it a little bit for at least 50, 50% or something like that. Okay, yeah, but I feel that's a, that's a fantastic question, Wodemaya. And I feel that uh, this is something that is even international when it comes to women. We feel we still feel a little bit uh, inferior when it comes to you know to different things like uh, equality at work, salary, uh, jobs. You know, there's some man jobs that women are supposedly not supposed to do or can't do. So I feel this is something that every woman everywhere in the world can relate to. But Namibia in general, I feel like. As much as we are very diverse and um, open community, we have a lot of limitations as women in our country, and I feel that okay. that should change because if women had more power in our country, um, it would be a way better place. Okay. So, which means women don't have enough power in the country? No, women have power. It's just I feel like if we could control more, if we could do more, if we were allowed to um, tap all the resources that we have here a lot of things would go better. Right. To be honest, nothing. I love the individual women that we find in Namibia. Everyone is different and we love something about it. We, we, okay, which makes it diverse. Don't, we don't judge here. We love what we see and what we see. You can see my Namibian beautiful women standing right there. They're all different and we do not judge them. We love them for who they are. Oh. Wow. Thank you so much for talking to me. You're welcome. Oh, I'm she's great. fantastic. I love it. He from Vinted, but oh, I... Sorry. Thank you so much for talking to me. You're welcome. I'm currently from Vinted, but I am from the northern part. It seems everyone yeah. in Vintuk is from the north. Yeah, no. Almost everybody. Almost everybody's from there. Okay. I went to the north and I really loved it. Me? Yeah, what I want to... What did you go do in the north? I, I went to drink Tombo. You had to go drink Tombo? Yeah, just for Tombo. How, wait, how long were you in Namibia? I've been in Namibia for like... Oh, let me know. What is Tombo? Let me know in the comment section below. What is it? 21 days now. Oh! Yeah, that... Okay, how long? Tombo. Wait, how long were you in Namibia? I've been in Namibia for like 21 days now. Oh! oh. Yeah, that... Okay. Yeah, I went to Swakop. Oh. I spent a night with the Himbas. Okay. But unfortunately, they wanted to give me a lady, you know, <laughs> to satisfy me. But I'm like, no, you know what? I'm not interested in that one. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. I yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, that was fantastic. I loved it. And yes, I guess what we can get from Namibian women, they're strong, they're independent, they're proud of their culture. You know, they're self-aware and that is very, very important. And as well as the backbone of the Namibian, uh, you know, uh, society and culture and name it. So remember, guys, if you love this video, please make sure you subscribe. I loved it. I, I'm smiling again, chick, because I'm loving this series of videos and um, uh, it's fantastic to actually even, you know, bring the woman forward because she's the backbone of the society. So until next time, thank you so, so much for watching and bye.